Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media. Today I've got a brand new react and rate for you guys. It's finally here, Rare Bun, one of my Golden Bowtide members. Finally here, we finally got to it. This is the More Adventures Forever Field Trip by Darius and Rotin. Uh, from my understanding, from what I've heard from uh, Rare Bun here, is that uh, Darius and Rotin are both the same person. Uh, Emma is her name, I believe. And uh, she produces apparently a ton of music, just a ton, a ton of music. And this is two of her different aliases producing one project together is my understanding for it. Uh, I don't know really much else. And so I, a lot of it's just going to be... Yeah, I don't know the, the intricate details behind the project, but uh, I don't think that really matters as much. Uh, it's just as long as it um, as long as it's uh, good, I guess, as long as it's an actual project to get to. Uh, I am going to read a quick quote uh, that Rarebun talked about this project. Uh, Rarebun said, a Real talk, I've probably listened to this album twice every day since it came out on the 1st of last month, 1st of August. Uh, and I truly believe it's uh, not only album of the year, but contender for one of the best projects in the last five years, which I don't give lightly. So Rarebun has been loving this project, absolutely loving this project. And so uh, I hope I enjoyed as much as Rarebun does. And so uh, I'm interested to get into it. Uh, the names, uh, the look of everything feels a little all over the place. It's got weird text and uh, blah, blah, blah. And so, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm stoked for this. I am stoked. I'm excited. Uh, it's a long project though. So this is, uh, this is Rare Bun's, uh, month, monthly video for both August and September, because, uh, if you want to join and have your own stuff, I only give 30, uh, 30 second or 30, 30 minutes or less videos just because it takes a lot to do this. So uh, this is two 30 minute videos. Uh, so here we go. Here's the project, uh, more adventures, the forever field trip. Uh, track one is, uh, the gears turn a oh, room BO3, the gears turn once more. Here we go. I have no idea what the project's going to sound like at all. Mary Button hyped it up a lot, but didn't tell me the genres. Very serene so far. Best way to describe this. Whoa. Okay, that's uh, that's that. Oh, another thing I remembered uh, that Rarebun said. I'm he's I'm pr I'm quite certain this is a fully continuous and looping album, uh, if I remember correctly. So it's like an hour and like a minute long or something like that, uh, with nine songs. So each of the songs are quite long, but uh, I believe it's a continuous looping album. The whole thing is uh, continuous. But uh, I'm gonna stop at each song uh, just because I need to talk about it a little bit. So. Um, First track, uh, Room BO3, The Gears, Turn Once More. Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, I'm, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the first section uh, a fair amount. Uh, I mean, it is kind of a, uh, a prelude. It is a bit of a uh, intro style song. Uh, not a whole ton going on here in terms of uh, doing a lot of grand stuff, but I do like the themes uh, that are happening so far. Uh, the piano playing was very nice and serene, and um, I, I did like the bit of kind of chaosness of that little section. I don't even know what you would call that. It kind of just exploded a bit of sound. Uh, and so I didn't mind that. Uh, and I think it worked quite well in the context of what the song provided at the beginning and what it gave in the end. And so, uh, you know, I'm a fan. I am a fan of the first song, at least. So uh, here we go. Uh, this is track number two called uh, Ticket Please. Uh, 
interested. This is, but yes, also again, these songs are very long. So this song is seven minutes and 47 seconds. Then we got 937, 656, 557, 720, 726, 1122, and then it ends with a 554. So long, long songs, that's for sure. But uh, here we go. This is uh, Ticket, Please. I've heard that sound before. This part of the song sounds super familiar. Is it Daft Punk? Super familiar. It's like pseudo side trance, like kind of is, kind of isn't. It's a lot lighter. Super playful sounds. Got a good energy to it. Reminds me of like a movie soundtrack. Like almost like Tron esque. Seriously, I wish I could remember where that first part came from. It's gonna bug me. Ooh! Glitchy melody line? Ooh, more glitch. Interesting turn here. Getting the halfway point. I feel like it's going to be impossible at the end to talk about all that happened in each song. Oh. 
Ooh. Kind of combine both halves of the song so far. Fun playing around with the panning. Whoa. I'm telling you now, I think this whole thing might be a little too experimental for me. Wow, that sound is back. What is it from? Is it Dead Mouse? No, it's gotta be Daft Punk. I think it's early homework, Daft Punk. Either homework or it's the late last half kind of tracks from Discovery. I can't remember, and it's gonna bug me. Oh, interesting turn here. Back with the Foley. Why do I feel like something's just gonna like scream at me? I don't think it is, but I don't know why it feels like that. That, that crunch sound on the grass sounded exactly like the Slender Man walk, or like, in the game. It sounds exactly like the same walk from Slender Man. Huh! Okay! Ticket, please! Uh, the second track. Uh, and I can hear it, I can hear the, the hi-hat coming in a little bit here for the, for the next track. Um... Wow, okay, uh, <laughs> these are songs. These are definitely songs. Uh, it is, it's a lot's going on. A lot is happening. That last track had a ton of energy to it. Uh, it felt like the uh, the beginning of the field trip. Uh, you're giving your ticket, it's the ticket please, you're at the ticket booth, and uh, it just feels like the start of the ramping up of what is to come, and um, yeah, maybe the walking through the forest or the grass now as you actually get into your location, getting where you're going for on this forever field trip that loops continuously, which is uh, smart thinking there. Um, I, I honestly don't have a ton to say about the song individually. I feel like I will have a lot more to say at the end about the project as a whole. Um, because I think once I hear the context of it all, I, I think I'll have some greater understanding or clarity on the purpose of each track individually. So uh, let's just move on into track number three, uh, <laughs> Groovy Grove. Groovy Grove, uh, here we go. nine minutes and 37 seconds song. That's a little absurd. Art style. Kind of side trance?
have a lot of thoughts going on in my brain about the whole purpose of the project and how not friendly it is for commercial success and the purpose for it. Feel the grooviness of the grove. First vocals. It is absolutely nuts that we're only a third done the song. I like this section though. Very 8 bitty. Very groovy. Oh. I don't know how I feel about this constant hard style beat in the bat in the back. The underlining just tone for the whole thing. I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, it's at this point now, I'm officially Getting a little bored, okay? So just, just for context, getting just a little bored now of this kind of same hard style beat. Getting a, a tad bored, tad bored. Looking for something a little, a little different, a little more of a pick me up. Okay, halfway point, we've hit the transition, the next movement of the song. minutes earlier.
Oh yeah, we're also two thirds done the song. Is everything drenched in shame? Oh, shade? Gotta get shade. We have two minutes left of the song. Wow. It's just fully just an interlude section. Just so long. Okay, it looks like we're going in some water or something after. Okay, uh, Groovy Grove. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, I always say that I really like long songs. I like songs to be long. I like length. I enjoy it. Uh, this, I don't know if it's justifying its length right now. I just, I, I don't, there's a certain point, there's a threshold that I like my songs in, uh, in terms of, uh, length. Uh, and I don't want it too short where it just feels like I, the song's come and passed and, or it's come and gone and it's just whatever. Uh, I also don't like songs to ex to overwhelm to extend their stay too mo too long to the fat point where um, it's just like yeah where it's just like that honestly where it's just so ridiculously long it seems like uh, like that's that's a little obsessive like come on like nine minutes and thirty seven seconds I feel like that whole thing could have been done in like four and you would have got the same feeling out of it if that makes sense. So I, yeah, maybe four is too, lo too little, like maybe like six at least. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't know why that the song needed a whole nother second movement there. Uh, I don't understand why it was needed. Uh, like, don't get me wrong. I liked what I heard. Um, I thought it was good, but I just don't, I, this, to me personally, I don't understand the length. I think you could have cut out that whole second section, that whole, because it did the build up and the lyrics and then it kind of dropped back down and then built up again with lyrics and did this, all this. And like, it, if you just cut out that section, I, it does the same thing. It does the same trick. It, it has the same atmosphere and has the same tonality um, just with like almost like just in with cutting out a third of the length. Um, 
So I personally, I don't get it. I don't get the super, super long run times, but uh, whatever, whatever. I'm, I'm maybe in the greater context of it all, it'll make more sense. So uh, let's move on to the next song. Okay, next song is Meet Me at Canyon Crossing. Let's get into it. Here we go. <laughs> sound. different. I'm gonna be honest, if I wasn't listening to this because I have to, um, I would have probably stopped at this point. I probably wouldn't have given it the whole thing. I don't think it, it caught my attention long enough for me to go through the whole project. I would have just seen that there's like five more songs that have really long run times and it would have been daunting and probably not worth it. But we'll see. Maybe it's going to be phenomenal and I'll just shut up. point of this song now. Pretty much almost exactly at the halfway points of each of these tracks. We're hitting a total tonal shift. So just make it another song. Like, it's not doing the same song. Just some fun chimes there. be a really long video.
that's different. Okay, that was Meet Me at Canyon Crossing. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but why, did, why does that song exist? Like, why? Like, like, why? Like, the Groovy Grove just did that. Same style, same kind of tonality. It's very similar atmosphere. Uh, very similar beat. I, I don't know if I can do this for an hour. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. This just isn't, this isn't capturing my attention at this point. This is, um, this is a long, this is a long run through. Uh, if anyone other than Rare Bun, uh, cause I'm sure Rare Bun's going to watch the whole video. Uh, if anyone other than Rare Bun has watched the whole video up to this point, um, I need you to tell me right now what you think of this particular, ooh, this particular moment. At this moment, what are you feeling about the project? What are you feeling? If you've listened through and you're with me and you're like, what, 30 minutes into this thing? 30, 25 minutes in? Um, what is your thoughts on it? What are your thoughts on this part right here? So I'd love to know that's opinion because right now I'm just like, I'm just like, why? Like, I'm like, I'm, I, I don't deny that it's good. I don't deny that the stuff is like, it sounds great. The quality's nice. Um, but like, I just don't know if it justifies how long it is and how it feels like just the runtime is crazy. We're not even halfway there. So I don't know. I got to give it some more. I got to see if the whole thing turns it around or whatever. But um, that song in particular, I don't know why it existed, honestly. So. Uh, maybe I'm just not into the experimentalness of the whole album or what it is. Uh, I very honestly don't listen to stuff like this at all, ever. Like, this, is, this isn't even on Spotify, by the way. This was, um, Rare Bun gave me the, the Lossless uh, version download of this album for me to listen to. It's only on, like, yeah, it's not even on streaming platforms, so. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> this is, uh... I'm obviously still going to go through, but uh, at this point, I'm just, I'm not feeling it, not loving it, but we'll see what we can do here. Uh, here's track number five, uh, Feedback Forest Alpha. Here we go. These are some fun sounds. I do like this. I mean, I like it all. Just is too much of a good thing. Too much. Does it diminish it? The most interesting sounds I've heard at least so far from this project in the song.
Alright, we're back to that. Side trance. Hard style beat. It's definitely different this time, though. What do you got to offer this time? Transition comes a little off there, for me personally. Obviously everything is just me personally. It always does a, like, it, every song feels like it does a two-parter. I'm interested to see if it's going to do that here. I guess it's going to go back to what it just did. Ooh! Bring in the power! gives me major uh, Daft Punk contact vibes from Random X's memories. Oh, and then just like that, it dies. Please tell me it doesn't just do like an atmospheric sound for the next minute and a half. I'm, uh, I'm not engaged in the storyline right now. I'll tell you that. I'll be honest. I'm honestly at a point right now where I'm just like, I kind of want to get the thing over with. I kind of just want to know what the ending is. I just want to know. I mean, there is no ending because it's a forever field trip and it's a continuous looping album, but 
just kind of, I kind of just want it to be done. Okay, uh, feedback forest alpha. Um, probably one of my more preferred tracks of the album so far. Uh, it has uh, I really like that big building part of uh, in that last two thirds of the track. Um, I didn't love that it was just this kind of fully atmospheric sound to the end of it. The last like almost two minutes, like it's just I I don't understand the thematic storyline that's being told as of right now um and upon first listen it, like i'm really trying to think about it i'm really trying to figure out what storylines happen here i get that it's we're walking through uh, we're on a field trip and we're going through all these different things we're obviously just got through the canyon crossing we got through the grove the grove and now we're in the forest and um yeah and so i'm i'm trying to grasp it i'm trying to get it but i'm just not I'm not feeling it right now. I'm really not. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, I'm not engaged. Uh, it hasn't drawn me in. It's not my favorite style of music. Um, but, uh, yeah. We'll see where we go from here, though. Uh, track number six, uh, Other Side Station Scramble. Here we go. Another long one, seven minutes and 20 seconds. The next is 7.26 and then 11.22. Oh. I wonder if I just don't get it. I wonder if my my brain is too tiny for this album. I just can't grasp it. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm too much of a pleb to understand how masterful this project actually is. I don't know. You tell me in the comments. Like, I can't deny that this is, like, good quality sounding stuff, but it's just, I feel like it's just not doing a ton. We're hitting the same beats over and over again. I don't know where we're going narratively. Definitely a listening experience. Definitely an experience. I'm getting really tired of just bopping. Stop. Does it feel right to stop? Does it feel right to stop? I feel like I need to. Oh. 
I, I just don't understand how someone can be at this point. Um, at this point of the project and be like, oh my gosh, I'm so engaged in what's happening. I know you can stay invested in this for so long. I'll give it credit. Every time I, I'm about to say I'm bored or something, it does change up a little bit, but. I say I like long songs, but this is, I think this is too long for me. Here's our classic last minute of just Foley and atmospheric sounds. <laughs> like how, how am I supposed to know what's happening in this narrative? Don't know what's happening. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, other side station scramble. Uh, this feels like a slog at this point to get through. I am. Uh, I yeah. This just feels like a slog. Um, I <laughs> this. It is. It is a struggle, I think, to get through some of this right now. Um, it's like, it's nice quality, good sounding, crisp things. The sounds are fantastic. Uh, it's even better that it's on a, a lossless file. Um, but like, why? Like, why does it need to be this long, this, this drawn out? I don't get it. I personally don't understand. I personally don't understand. Maybe, again, maybe my brain, maybe I'm too small-brained for this project. Maybe it's too, too high, too much above me. It's like, uh, it's like Flatlanders type thing where I'm, I'm just a 2D object and living in a 3D world and I can't, I, I, I only see lines when, you, when everyone else sees circles, or sorry, when they see spheres, I only see just a line that shrinks and, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, three songs left. Three songs left. 
Uh, track number seven, we're gonna jump into it. This is uh, Winter Fawn, yeah? Winter Fawn and the Machine. So uh, put these headphones on and uh, here we go. Cracking on my fingers, phalanges. Another seven minute, 26 second song. Okay. That's something interesting. Is this gonna be like a Boy and the Beast or a, a Fellow Feeling type style song? Where it's gonna get really calm and nice and it goes boom, 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 and then it goes calm again and boom, boom, with the elegant winter fox and then the machine. That would be my prediction. That's uh, That would fit on something like this album, that's for sure. Side trance beat. <laughs> I feel like I'm becoming insane listening to this right now. Sounds great. Like, I, I love this part. Now is this the Winter Fox or is this the Machine? Maybe it's both. I mean, it is Winter Fox and the Machine. See, that feels like Winter Fox, Machine, or Fawn. Winter Fawn, Machine. Winter Fawn, Machine. They're talking now, they're communicating. And there's your halfway point where the song totally changes. Or is this the winter fawn and the whole first part was the machine? Nah, I think I was right about the talking. Hmm. 
I don't think it helps that I'm filming this at 12 in the morning, midnight, because uh, I'm, I'm starting to fall asleep. Like, it's just the same sound. With just slight variations here and there. So, both metaphorically and I think physically, I'm starting to fall asleep a little bit. So another like 15, 16 minutes worth of music. Okay, what'd you find on the machine? Uh, uh, <laughs> so much the same that I want to say is, uh, um, why? Why is this so long? Why is this the same sounds? I just want to get through this sort of, which is so bad to say, but I just do. It's the truth. So we're going to move on. Uh, we're going to get Thanos dusted by uh, Thanos Snapped. Uh, here is the eighth track, Turn to Dust. That actually, that definitely had the biggest shift from song to song. The whole thing being continuous, that one had the biggest, like, tonal sh shift, I would say. And it's an 11 minute song. 11 minutes and 22 seconds. You know what? I'm gonna chill for this a little more. So I'm just gonna. Uh, feet up on my desk here. Move the mic in close. Hey, this is interesting. Kinda new, still got that same beat in the back, but something.
supposed to be like the grand finale? Is that what this is? I'm just chilling like this for the grand finale. Just such a big shift. the song. <laughs> I, I feel like this would have worked better narratively if all these different movements had their own songs, like if this hour th long project was like actually like 22, 26 long songs long, uh, just so that the story could be told more through the album names or for the, through the song names. So I know what's happening more. So long. Those are three minutes.
Oh, please tell me this is going to be two minutes of Foley now. Okay, there's something here. We're just moving to the next song. Here is uh, the final track, Zone the Inner in Inner Stice? Zone the Inner Stice? Here we go. Ugh. Got, felt like it got really loud. Like I just had to turn on my volume a little bit. Felt like a little more piercing. Please do something other than just being Foley. I mean, there's keys there. What does the what does inner stice mean? Inner stice. An intervening space, especially a very small one. This last song here. I don't understand what narrative this is going for, and so I just I don't understand the purpose to this last song. I don't get it. And maybe that's just me being an idiot for not getting it, but I don't get it, so I don't understand the purpose.
Please do something in the last 50 seconds. It's gonna slow fade out. It's not even, it's just like. Can this really be called continuous? There's no, like, there's no sound anymore. There's no sound. There's literally nothing. And the album just finished, and then it starts again. Can that really be continu considered continuous? Or looping? Oh, okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, here's some things I need to say about this project. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I don't understand the purpose to this project, the narrative. I, I don't get it. It's not for me. I don't understand. I will not deny that there are some great quality sounding sounds, great quality sounding elements the tracks are beautiful in some sections and hard hitting and um, like almost like dystopianly weird in others. And um, but like, why? Why does it need to be an hour long? I just I don't get it. I don't understand the experience. Or like this is supposed to be an experiential album, but I don't know what I'm supposed to experience. So I don't understand what the purpose of this project is. I I just don't. It's so long, it's aggressively long, and it like it seems like it prides itself on being so long. I just, I don't get it. I really don't. I really don't. I'm so sorry, specifically Rare Bun. I just don't get it. I, that last song was supposed to be like, I think like the Magnum Opus type style track, like the, or the second last one I should say, um, the Turn of Dust. This like grand finale of a track, but like, what 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 was the grand finale what was the what was the narrative what was the storyline what is it telling i i i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't get it i don't understand what this album was going for it's not for me it's it's so long and it doesn't need to be that long and i just i don't get how you can be so engaged throughout that whole project like i just I don't understand. I really don't. So Rare Button, please, I'll pin your top comment about why you love this album so much. Write me a paragraph, write me a novel, write me a sentence why you love this so much. Uh, and I will pin it because I am I may just be the wrong crowd for this. But damn, that was a beast to get through. Like it just, it wasn't fun at the end. Like I just wasn't engaged. So um, do, yeah. I have to give it a score because this is a react and rate. That's the way it works. Uh, and so, uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm going to give it. I know I've been going to give it for a while. But uh, because of the nice quality sounds, it's not bad by any means. It just overstays its welcome so long. And it's just a little, little too lengthy. Uh, the project, this project, the, uh, Darius and Rot Teens More Adventures Forever Field Trip is going to score a five. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this album, this whole thing. It's crazy. It's long. It's there. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And this end of this crazy long video, I have Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.